everything's been moved because of doing the day job on this desk, so it takes a bit of setting up. Put my fan off. Oh, come on. I hope you're well. I just find myself on my iPad so that I can read comments and stamp. So it's just a random live today, so I don't feel all lonely. I'm hoping a few people might pop in and say hello. But if not, just, oh, we have, we've got Connie, hi. So I'm just trying to get the cable out of my way so I can see what I'm doing. You're surprised you're here. Well, I'm more than delighted to have you here, Linda. Have you had a peaceful morning? Okay, so oh, the lighting here is rubbish because we've got sunshine and it messes with, as lovely as it is, it messes with videos and photographs and things. Well, we've got a shadow, but hey, I'm being followed by a moon shadow. Saturday doesn't belong to you, does it not? Usually the family take over. <laughs> hey, Mindy, turn you come. So anyway, I haven't even started this video properly. <laughs> so hi there, it's Janice Thompson from Jazzle Dazzle Craft. .co.uk. I'm an independent stampin' up demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland, central Scotland in fact, and I have come today, I am trying to get my swaps made for backstage, which is I'm leaving to go to next Sunday and just sort of realised that I could make swaps. I sort of had it in the background of my head but I've been so busy and I thought, well, you know, they're not compulsory. But now I see everybody else making swaps. I want to take part. So, <laughs> do you know that FOMO? <laughs> Fear of missing out. So, I give myself extra work. However, I'm going to use this lovely Christmas Scotty. So, I thought, if I'm going all the way to New Orleans from Scotland I might as well to something with a sort of Scottish theme all right so I've been sitting out in the sun and I've cut out with that out the way just now from tailored tags this one the biggest tag oh hi Elizabeth hi Nessa I think I've said a, hello to everyone who's in just now so I've been using the biggest tag and I have cut myself a pile of tags. Somewhere about 80 tags. Don't know if I'll get them all made or not, but we'll have a go. Hi, Claire. See, if some of you were closer, you could actually come and <laughs> make them. <laughs> I've got somewhere about 80 dogs punched out with a lovely Scotty Punch. So he's a... He's a Scotty dog when he's black and he's a Westie when he's white. So we're having a Scotty dog. I think it's a Highl... A, a, he's just a Highland Terrier, isn't he? A Scottish Terrier. I'm not really a dog person, but I thought, well, you know, you're from Scotland, so get on with it. So we've got a pile of dogs, a pile of tags, and we've got a pile of bows that I stamped on basic white with this stamp from Christmas Scotty and I used Parakeet Party and Narlene's <laughs> Narlene's <laughs> okay I'll try so yeah so I've got these bows for my dogs I've got tags so I ha 
when you're doing a whole batch of something you really have to keep it simple and as you know I'm not really the sort of simple sort of girl but I have been recently so I think I'm going for a bit of clean and simple sort of a sort of a knot Narlene's I'll yeah but then I'll probably end up insulting somebody by seeing it so I am using this stamp here I think that's the only stamp oh no and the woof stamp we use the woof can't have a dog without a woof can you that sounds weird but then I'm just using this just for you sentiment as well on the tag because I think that the tag would work if you because do you know what strange things people do nowadays is give their dog a gift at Christmas time so if you're giving your dog I think it's just a hilarious idea but um, it happens and I know my own children do that so yeah so when you're making a batch you need to do like I've done all the die cutting all the punching and now I'm just going to stamp and make up but what I'm going to do is do the stamping in batches so I'm going to spread out so I'm thinking if I do 10 and make them up and then another 10 and make them up obviously I'll not um, bore you with all 80 but you know if you're able to stay and chat for a wee while I'll be appreciating that what is everybody else doing or done with their Saturday? So I am just going to I'm stamp I'm inking this up with the real red and I'm just going to aim it at the sort sort of diagonally across the front of the tack. And I really should have had my mat under here so if this doesn't come out that's what I'm going to have to do wait see it's got some poor bits so let's change what we're doing and use the foam mat because otherwise I'm going to get are you going away on Tuesday Claire where are you off to a scrap of paper that one will be okay because I'll be putting something on it. So I think it's I think I'm just gonna do it this way now. Are you going somewhere nice? I'm not making the do you know what I think this real red actually needs re inked. Tenerife, oh very good, very nice. Never been to Tenerife, I've been to Gran Canaria. But not Tenerife, will it not be just a wee bitty hot there? But then I guess you have a swimming pool. That's better, that's stamping Janice. I am going to stick a dog over the top so any little weak spots will inform me where to put the rest of the bits so it's pretty hot in Scotland today I think my real red needs re-inked I wonder but I like real red best for this right probably not the best hi Cheryl probably not the best idea to re-ink here but Oh, you went there on your honeymoon, lovely. <sighs> I don't know why I'm... I think it's because it's not got enough ink. I'll change my slant here. I'm going to see if I can get the de-inker beer with me. This could get messy, guys.
yeah, it's very warm here. I've come in from outside because I was too hot. Right, real red. Oh, I don't know if this is wise, but I'm doing it anyway. You can actually see the pad, isn't it? Look, it's just soaking it straight in. Clearly was not enough ink on here. But you know what will happen, it will, it's me, it will go the opposite way. Look at it, it's just, it's soaking straight in. Over 38, oh no, that's too much. However, we have, had those temperatures, well, not this week, but a week or so ago. Let's see if this does, well actually, I've got, a, I've got an old credit card here. Maybe we'll, I'll just pop that there just now and then we'll see how we go with that rate. Right? Oh, that's just yeah the, I ju once the temperature gets hotter than body temperature you're in silly territory aren't you so really it's just a matter of repeating the same process and it's quicker rather than make a tag and then make another tag it's you can see that spit on the bright side, but we're just going to go with it because, well, I will be covering a lot of it up so it won't be too. I keep doing that. Foam pad's just not doing what it's meant to do. Why is that? Maybe got an ear bubble or something. leave it as is. This isn't quite tartan but it's got a plaid look about it. That was the intention so just kind of feels a wee bit Scottish doesn't it? So my friends who are in the US of A, if I was coming to visit you, what would you hope I would bring with me? I can't visit you all of course, but if I was coming to visit you, what would you hope I could bring from Scotland that would amuse you? Apart from, you know, myself, my beautiful smile and my magnificent personality. What do you think you would like? So I'll do a wee good batch and then I'll show you my intention for the finish of these. You're awfully quiet. Have you all got a wee seat by the fan then if you're all hot? I did beat sit outside but I had my sunshade up so that I wouldn't get... Hey Judy, in you come. So that I wouldn't get too hot and bothered. Because sitting in the sun is lovely but if you get too hot you just get tired and then... Well, look at this. I'm really not making a good job of stamping at all. If I wasn't going to cover it up, I'd be trying to find out what was going on, but I'm really not concerning myself just now.
You just want me, Linda. <laughs> You're the one that I want. <laughs> I finished it. How many have I done? So I'm so excited about going off to Narlene's. <laughs> Just, you know, it's all the anxiety when you're travelling. Will the train get me there? Because they're just, we've got a strike on Saturday with the trains in the UK. So. You know, does that mean, will the trains run on time on Sunday? Will I get to King's Cross to meet Ruth? <laughs> it's all that, but yeah. Got a few things to sort out tonight um, electronically. Get all my documents over to the airline and just all that prep stuff. later. I've started looking out clothes and capturing something so I don't wear them. So I'm really pleased because all these tags I cut out from scrap. My scrap bag was getting way too big so that was a good thing. The wee bows were all done from bits of scrap and the dogs were cut out from scrap too so and I need to do more things like that. You have a great time in Gran Canaria Miss Claire, that will be cool. Even that will be all right. That will be fine. Well, that's better. There's a good one. <laughs> I don't know if it's because this paper's been screwed up and it's bumpy as well. This desk is not the best underneath either. It, it gives instead of pushing back. Right, well, shall I stop there and then we'll make these ones up? I think that's more than 20, I'm sure. Have I got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, I might as well do thirty. Although I see there's a few of them got thumbprints, so I may have to do a bit of quality control and pull some out. But we'll go on the 30 and then we'll get. So what are you all up to? Look at that, a bow went in the ink. Oh, that's that bow out the game. And then I've got more ink on my thumb. I think I need to stop for a moment and wipe my hands. You're all very quiet, so does that mean that you're busy doing other things? I just feel I need to do some more. So let's do these two. I think I have about 80 tags cut out. So these tailored tags are fab. I don't even know if I'll swap all, you know, if I will take them, but if I don't swap them all, those, they'll be, you're making a card template, Connie, okay? I am. Um, it's just 
and your craft in, I see. Oh yeah, so yeah, no much point in having a wife that makes cards and not getting a nice card on your anniversary. Right. Right, so there's more stamping going on here. I've shut the ink and so yeah. I'm gonna pop just for you at the top. And the woof woof is going on the bottom, but I think it's better to just do one thing at a time. And I might just keep the woof woofs for the end so that then I know where the dogs are. And of course I've done these all round in a different way, but that's okay. And none of them exactly the same. I'm, I'm just having a wee think. I was just thinking back, Claire, you said you were cleaning the house ready for going on holiday. How silly. We all do that. How silly is it? By the time you come back, it'll be thick with dust. I always think that. Why, why did I get myself all stressed? I'm going to have to clean it when I come back anyway. Sometimes you, by the time you get on holiday, you're so exhausted with all the preparation. All oh, right, <laughs> Elizabeth. So, <coughs> are you um, coping all right? Is everything going to plan? Can we just keep going? Oh, look at me. I thought I'd cleaned it. Oh. Inky finger, Janice, see? Eh? Well, let's stamp over that side because then that will distract a little from that. This one's okay. Well done you, Elizabeth. It's good to have a positive attitude, isn't it? Look at a friend who went who managed to get back to cycling very not very soon but you know she kept going and she got back to being able to cycle so <laughs> yeah, you come home to a tidy house and you dump everything everywhere and then Chaos resumes, doesn't it? So you see, if you are doing a batch of things, how much quicker it is if you just do one job at a time. Because then, I think changing between tasks takes time. Too much junk under my desk. My knee's getting sore because I can't move it. I need to clean out under my desk for that reason. Do 
yes it is a swap you see before you it will be anyway when it's done and it will have inky smudges on it too I was, try I was trying to do clean and simple not happening so hi Ruth how are you How art our artful stamper? Yes, very rough and rough and ready. That's <laughs> like course. Yes, it's hot. I actually came in to cool down and thought, well, because I cut all these out outside. I did my die cutting with my little baby mini cut and emboss machine it's fantastic for small jobs so right that's a real red for this batch done uh, we'll gather these up try not get any more red ink on them Janice right so do we have any glue on this craft desk do you think because I can't see it Oh, there it is behind my iPad because I have other things to get in my case um, I thought that tags were a good idea because they wouldn't take up too much space and I've also decided that it would be a good idea to just glue the dogs on and not have too much dimension in these tags so this dog is going that way, is it? Because I've glued that side. So these dogs can actually go either way, but I wanted to go opposite the slant. So there will be one that's going the other way, isn't there? Why did I do that? There's one here that's going up that way. Let's just think about this more carefully, Janice. Right, so we get the dog on, then a bow on. We'll just we'll do the sort of last three bits on each one, I think. So that if you've not got time to hang about, you can see what I'm up to here. And I'm using these black matte dots, which are in the annual catalogue, and I need my tweezers. And a twice. Everything never someone pinched my tweezers. No, they didn't. So I, these wee black matte dots make a nice wee eye for my wee Scotty dog. What do you think? And then where's the woof? I've lost my woof. Here's my woof. Where's my paddy keep party? Can anyone see the parakeet party out? I am losing it. The sun's melted me. That's ridiculous. It must be here somewhere. I had it when I set up the video. Oh, here it is. Hey Sally, in you come. Hey Barb. This is because you asked me to, Barb. So I just thought a wee bit of woof, 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 and it will get a bit of ribbon. I haven't worked out, I need to cut a whole batch of these bits, but just so you can, I'll do just one so that if you can't hang about, you can um, see what I'm going to do. So just a little bit of, this is the metallic ribbon that's in the new in colours they won't all have the same ribbon it'll just depend I've pulled out the black and white check one as well because it's in the annual catalogue this is really good this because you can splay it as well and fringe it it's just fab 
So that basically is a tag and I'm not going to make it any more complicated than that. I'm not, see this bit that didn't work very well. I'm just going to get, just to show you, if you have a bit that you just feel it's a bit obvious and you don't want to bend this, just use the fine part of your stamp right marker and see if I just pop that line there but it's not, do you know what, do you see what I mean? I, it, although the stamping's not the best, you can't, it isn't so obvious. Hey Karen, thank, thank you. So yeah, so that's one complete swap. So I'm just going to, these ones are all, I don't know why I wanted the dog to go facing opposite to the slant. I suppose I just always like a bit of juxtaposition, don't I? <laughs> So we'll just stick some dogs on and then we'll come back and give them eyes. So they can go either direction when they're punched out. I just dreamt this up last night. I was sort of having a bit of a panic attack about it when, when Ruth put that she was making <laughs> what she was making. And I was like, you need to get moving. <laughs> You need to get on with it. So that was why I realised that I do, did have some time today. So I did my day job for a couple of hours this morning because I needed to. Um, and then I wanted to catch some sun as well. So that worked out. I'm just putting a bit of glue on his belly. Oh, I've got a wee beastie come visiting my ink pad. Go away. A fruit fly. Right. The fruit flies are just starting to be a bit of a pest here. So I am going to put out a dish of vinegar later on. And some... I've been told... I did vinegar last year and I put a bit of... I could do my gluing on the plain but um, I really don't want too much. Well I suppose that's small enough but I'd have to remember to put the glue in the liquids bag and no, I'm going to get it all done before I go and get I match put these in my case. So I wonder if this dog does it need a name? Yeah, I was thinking that a Venus fly trap. I, I, I thought that the other day, and I keep, I just keep forgetting when I'm out and about to go and get one. They're not the cheapest of plants to buy here, though. Um, another pile of these over here. So. Yeah, so what I'm going to use just now for the moment till I get a Venus fly trap is some vinegar with a little bit of washing up liquid in it. Or we could call them Jazzle, do you think? Okay, Karen. Up sky. They're just getting stuck on now, aren't they? Mac. Mm -hmm. I'm 
making myself extra work, have you noticed that? I could just stick them on, on the pile. Dougal, <laughs> what would you like to be called? I know there's some people in Scotland call their dog, Doug. I just think that's funny. Because Doug is sort of the way that some people pronounce dog in certain accents. They just call him Doug. Cause he's a wee dog. Mindy, have you been to the Isle of Skye? Ah, it's lovely, isn't it? Over the sea to sky. Yeah. The only thing is, every time I go to Skye, I get bitten by midges and they end up all spotty. This one's got a bit of poor stamping. Oh, love Sky camp there with the children when they're grown up. A few times actually. Yeah, I've also um, been a leader at a camp there, a girl guide camp there. Yep. I do like sky. There's a Western Isle for sale at the moment. Um, I think some of you have seen it on Facebook. So I've got some small bags coming later on today, uh, ce cello bags, cello bags, cello bags, um, small ones for these, so keep them clean. It does look good, Do you know what, it would be an amazing craft retreat, wouldn't it? long I've been on but I'm getting there am I not? I have to say that eh, Scotland is a beautiful country and the further north you go the more beautiful it becomes and it, when you go over onto the islands it just wows. Love it. Love the west coast most and the islands only issue is at this time of year we have horrible midges and they are kind of real tough nuts our Scottish midges. Yeah well maybe we could nestle. <laughs> There's a lighthouse I think as well isn't there? You see where I wasn't too worried about my less than perfect stamping. As the dog's covering it up.
much way is this one going that way? When I'm deciding which way the dog's going, I'm looking at where the messy stamping is as well, so that I know that I'm going to... This one's not bad at all, is it? So it can go anyway. Oh, I need to adjust my seat, seat position here. I am... My back was getting a bit sore there. Can't have that. Right, that's better. It's supported again. I've just got two here and then we'll... Mm. Oh, look, there's more than one there. They're sticking together here. Last one just now. Right, so now I could bring them all in and give them all a woof woof, could I? I just thought it was more wise to leave the roof roof until the dog was on and then I could see better. If it was coming down lower or... I think this parakeet part goes quite well with the real red. I didn't really give it too much thought though, I just... That green, that will do. This will, it's got a slight Christmas look about it because it's green and red. It was really funny because years and years and years ago, when I was a childminder, and in the US you call that daycare provider, um, I went to a business conference again with Scottish Childminding Association. I went to a daycare conference in Florida. Um, What's the reason I'm telling you that? So, of course, because I, I was active in daycare at that time, I had a knitted doll. It was like a Scottish man. And he was called Scotty. And I took photographs of him throughout the trip to share with the children when I came back. Scotty getting up to all sorts of mischief and then some of my friends when they went on their holidays thanks they used to take Scotty with them with them and then bring back photographs for the children to see I should really have some kind of knitted mascot to go with me but I haven't I'm doing a lot of woofing here, but I'm getting there. Oh, Ruth, I wish. I wish. Dinner? 
There are keto versions of chocolate cake that, well, they're not that great. They're all right. But... Oh. So that the next job after I've got the swaps done is to sort out some things that I brought back from mum's house so that they can go in the attic and when Peter's in the attic putting them in I shall ask him to get my suitcase out so that I can start packing. But we're going to have barbecue tomorrow afternoon, so I would like to get a fair bit done tomorrow morning, but we'll see. But I know that I'm running out of steam today. I think I'm nearly ready to have a shower and put pyjamas on but I've kind of got more things I want to do. I know I'm just, you guys are such a great help just chatting and keeping me company. No. See I'm woofing. <laughs> Nobody's dog comes running, then I will be worried. He's not real till he gets his eye, though, is he? Oh, I hear you. I hear you, Linda. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know me. So well, I know what he's needing as well. He needs his bow next, doesn't he? Well, we give him an eye and a bow at the same time. Whew. Oh, one more. Anyone else for a woof? Oh, you made brownies, Ness. Oh, my goodness, it's death by chocolate this afternoon. Yeah. So, let me have a wee think about getting these bows on quickly. I'm closing the ink just now because we've done all our roofing. And I've moved the real red dirty stamp out of the way as well. Right. So, if I put a few out... And then we just do a wee dot of glue at each neck. Then we can just put his wee bow on. Oh, hi, Helen. Thanks for coming in to say hi. That's cool. It's not, it's really, it's not really a tutorial type of, it's just I came on live so you guys could keep me company while I'm stamping really. But I did show the process from the beginning. Okay. 
Helen, there's um, chocolate cake doing its rounds here. I think Ruth made vegan chocolate cake and Nessa's made brownies and she's offering orange juice. Give them all their bows and then and then we'll give these ones an eye and then all they'll need is their ribbons and I'll probably sit and do that later because I think I prefer to cut the ribbon Okay, where did I put the black dots? I do have another packet of these, so I'm pretty sure I've got enough of the small ones. But if I don't, I have a, another idea. If I don't, I do have this enamel effects pearls. You know what I mean, what it is. Um, so I could do eyes with that, but I really don't want to be having to wait for things to dry but you know if I get to the end and that needs to happen then obviously now that they've got their eyes on they're not going to stack but see that eye just makes all the difference in the world even if it's in the wrong place It's just like, here, have an eye, put it where you like. Right, I have a little basket here. Of course, you will know that when I cut out, I stump, punched out all the dogs, I've got a whole pile of black bows. So we need a project for black bows soon. Right, I've got this wee basket that will do to pop them in as they're ready, right? Another batch. Come and get your bows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's ten out, so let's go. Dots. Okay. Look, I'm sticking the glue to the ribbon. You lot have all gone quiet now you're eating cake. You're not interested in me now, you're too busy eating cake. Yep, you're all going. Mmm, 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 mmm. Watch out, because we Scott will come. At, Scotty dog here will come and eat it. Dogs are not supposed to have human chocolate, are they? But he doesn't know that. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of thinking about that, Nessa. What we would... But then you see what will happen is then I punch out played dogs and then I'll have a pile of played bows spare. So I'm thinking of something along the lines of gnomes with bows or something like that well that would be a good idea Linda they would be for a formal occasion wouldn't they black dogs white ties white dogs black ties mm. then we can call our call the dogs tuxedo Yeah, they might just go on a wee wreath card or something, but um, they're there anyway. Have at least 80 of them. <sighs> I'm getting a bit weary now. May have to go off and have a shower and some food and drink and then come back to the job. On there. <laughs> the 
they're too tiny. I don't think they're really would sell. No, I'll try and use them. I just love the difference that just that one little eye. It's not even a real eye, is it? Yeah, I don't really do Halloween, but you never know. You never know. Somebody might ask me to do something. I think white dogs with black bows and black dogs with white bows, that, that's going somewhere in my head, actually, I think. I'm... I'll, I'll hold you up the one that I did earlier, the whole... What do you think, Mindy? Is it okay? I don't know if the bow needs something in the middle of it. Yeah, that, you're right, Linda. Yeah, that's New Year's party dogs. Yep. Yep. Right, have they all got eyes? They all have eyes. The eyes have it. Yeah, the eye makes all the difference. It brings them to life. So all these ones need now is a bow. And then they'll get packaged when my wee thingies come. Some of them are thick, basic white, and some of them are thin. And between you and me, some of them are possibly whisper white. Because I have not used a full sheet of card for any of this. I have used up a, a lot of my scraps. So you'll be pleased with me, girls. You'll be pleased with me. Right, so let's dot, 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 dot. Dory Nick, dotty Nick, dotty Nick. I'm sending a, an SOS here, dot dot dot, dash dash dash, oh, crazy women. That one might have just a bit too much glue on it, but luckily the glue dries clear. Now I'll probably do a wee quality control tomorrow when I'm packing them anyway and I can have my glue rubber ready to just deal with that. I still have to print my wee stickers and guess what the sticker will say if you want to know how to make this here's the link to the video. Oh you go feed them Nessa. I've been worse than a hungry man. Well, there is actually a hangry woman, that's probably worse. Certainly when it's me, it was me last night, oh my gosh. When I finished work last night, we nipped to visit my husband's brother and... Because it's his birthday today, but Peter's not here today, so... We knit with his birthday card, handmade by myself, of course, and some birthday beers. And, of course, it was sunny. We sat out in the sun. They'd already eaten. We said, oh, no, it's fine. We'll be going home soon. We'll have our tea. And, of course, we blethered and we blethered and we blethered. And the time we got home here, I was starving. And I had nothing prepared because I've been working all day. And of course, you can imagine how 
kind of was to my husband because he hadn't prepared anything. And mm. We were all right though when I got sorted out. I actually ate quite well. I actually very quickly rustled up some handmade burgers and because I've got that ninja health grill thing they cooked really quickly with an egg and some cheese on them and I had that with some salad and then I was no longer hungry so that was good sehr good lots of eyes Take care, Nessa. Okay, so that's one another pile. So I have some time to do another wee batch. Is anyone about to? Are you happy to stay, keep me company, or are you getting a bit bored with seeing the same thing? So basically, I'm just going to pop myself out. So, in fact, I just do them one at a time, don't I? Because I have to use this. Temp. Oh, I need to have the paper a bit all messed. Right. If I really, if you're, especially if you're watching this on replay. Just fast forward. To, in fact, don't even fast forward to the end. I'm probably repeating what you've seen already. Um, but I've lost the stamp. Here it is. And I'm really staying because I've got people in the live chat chatting to be keeping me company. Oh, that should have been a bit. I wonder if I'll get away with. Mm. Can't see through it because it's such a dark colour. I'll be fine though. So it's like a dog on a plaid rug, really, isn't it? Yeah, if you're happy to stay in. Just keep yourself busy as well because I'm just blathering and crafting. But if you are watching on the well, live or on the replay, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you could subscribe. I, I've been trying to get to 2000, but as you all know, I've had a bit of a time out for various reasons over the last wee while so my numbers have been dropping a bit so I really need to get on that climb to the 2000 I picked up a cup I think I'm sort of back to where I was again because I picked up a few subscribers this morning on the Putlers video hop so if you haven't already seen that I had a video go live this morning and we were doing the mini catalogue so that's a good blog hop because um, I'm in, well, I'm in the Putler's wider team. For those of you who know the Stampin' Up! lingo, I'm not direct to Sam, but she's my uplines upline. So the Putler's is a big team and we do mostly do blog hops but every now and again we do a video hop there are some beautiful projects on there from the things in the July to December mini catalogue so do have a wee look and support us with that as well if you're needing some inspiration for your autumn fall projects and or even to get started on Christmas that will be a good place to start. 
and I was quite pleased with my project. I really don't know where it is at the moment, but I would show you, but if you go to the video you'll see it. You might even be able to remind me what I did. I don't know, I think I just put, I think the last time, I don't know how, I've cut about 80. I think the last time I did, I finished off 30 odd a wee minute or two ago. As I say, it does go quicker when you do it this way in batches. I get too bored if I do everything all at once but you know you have to decide yourself what works for you because you you know once it becomes a chore then you shouldn't be doing it. You should enjoy it but I'm not in the habit of doing lots of projects exactly the same. I have done the odd commission for wedding invitations and things, but I do get bored after a while. Okay, I'm one of these people, once I know how something works, I don't really need to keep doing it. Is there anyone else like that? kind of do one job till I get fed up with it and then change to another one and then that way eventually they all come together. Oops, not to worry, the dog will cover that poor stamping up. Or that poor stamping up. <laughs> right, I'm going to stop that one. I'm going to stop that job because I've got a bit, I don't know, I was leaning a bit, my neck's getting a bit sore, so... Just have a move about. I think there's actually going to be about 500, Judy. pins well done you right I've got to open my red up again because I'm going to do the this one I'd love to see them Linda you got any, or you'll not have any pictures left, probably. Okay, you laminated them and cut them out. Very nice. I 
at the last um, Celebrate in Scotland that we did, I made everybody a name badge and I made, fancied it up with a daisy punch and what have you. And made them into badges. So I think I'm going to stop now and get some dinner. Do you think, will I finish this stamp? getting a bit sore so I think I need to go and have a walk about and maybe just get a shower oh no I've got some things to go and tidy up outside No, sometimes you and there's a few things I've learned over the years with doing swaps is don't what seems like simple enough when you're just doing one thing. I did boxes with a bow on before and tying the little bows. I was oh that was just too too much. I'm so fed up, but you you know, once you've started, you feel you've got to complete. Right, so definitely you know, broken the back of the job, I would say I'm over halfway of what's entailed. I've done the long job. I think I'm going to wash that under the tap before I do any more. So I just bring in the two that are finished. That's the one I made earlier on today. And that's the one I finished with yourselves watching. So thanks everyone for coming and keeping me company. Keep well, and I'm hoping to be back to do my normal live tomorrow, but we are going to out to a barbecue in the afternoon, so it just depends on whether we're back or not, all right? I just don't want to injure myself here. I'm starting to feel sore. I know I need to get out this chair and go and get moving about, okay? I think go and bring the outside the things that have been left outside indoors and get some food and then a hot shower and I'll come back and finish these off okay so take care everyone keep well I can't, I can't even find the door I will put a picture up maybe when they're all finished let me see if I can turn this around yeah so yeah I don't know, see I've got a bit of sun on me Anyway, thanks everyone for coming in. You think it's got to be Sky? All right then. So I, I'll call them Sky if you sing the Sky Boat song to me. Yeah, speed bonny boat like a bird on wing over the sea to Sky. Okay, bye. Keep well. And I do appreciate y'all. Bye.